After months of delays, a date has been set for the next round of talks to end Syria's bloody civil war. But there's a lot of uncertainty and scepticism surrounding the meeting set for January 22nd. With senior Russian and American officials right here in Geneva in the UN building and they're going to be speaking a little later today. Once we get an idea of who's coming, particularly from the Syrian government and from the fractured Syrian opposition, we may be able to make a better bet as to the likelihood of success of the summit. But bear in mind one key point. The, uh, the aim of the summit is a transition, in other words, a handing over of power. But the Syrian government may feel that there is no point whatsoever in handing over power when it has been able to make military advances in recent months. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon expects regional and international partners to fully support the Geneva II peace moves. Ban has made it clear to both sides in the conflict that Geneva II is a serious attempt to end the war that has left more than 100,000 people dead and driven millions from their homes. Geneva II will seek the formation of a transitional government with full executive powers based on mutual consent. Now, the aim of this meeting will be to pave the way for a transitional government, but that seems highly unlikely uh, to be fixed at that meeting. Uh, the uh, UN Arab League envoy uh, for Syria, Lahta Brahimi, has been at pains to emphasize that this uh, Geneva II conference is not actually an event, it's more a process, uh, a stepping stone along the way to resolving the conflict. The war in Syria remains the world's biggest threat uh, to international peace and security. It would be unforgivable not to seize this opportunity to bring an end to the suffering and destruction it has caused. Pan says he expects all regional and international partners to support the negotiations. The announcement came after UN and Arab League envoy to Syria, Lakhdar Brahimi, held a closed-door meeting in Geneva with Russian and U.S. representatives. Brahimi said they were asking the Syrian government and opposition to name their representatives as early as possible so they can meet and speak with them. This conference is really for the Syrians to come to Geneva to talk to one another and hopefully start a credible, workable, effective uh, peace process for their country. 